Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tara and I make videos about digital planning and different ways that you can get creative with your iPad. So if that sounds like something that's of interest to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss a video. That all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the purpose of today's video, which is going to be going over my October monthly setup. Super excited to do this with you guys today. But first things first, let's take a look at September. This is what it looked like filled in. So I know I've said this before, but I really use my monthly just for like larger tasks and then for breaking up my sprints and what I'm gonna be working on during these two week chunks. Um, I've got everything here and I was actually really proud of myself. I felt like I did a really good job getting all of these things done. So hooray for me. Yeah, I did a lot of house sitting this month, a lot of traveling and I was just gone most of the time, but I was working you know, for my computer that entire time. So so definitely kept very busy and then I had a couple uh, scheduled events here. I also just realized that I did not write down my mother's birthday. <laughs> it's in my head. That is never going to leave, but I should have probably put that on my calendar. But yeah, that is September. So let's go ahead and jump back to October and we'll just get to planning. Okay, so I'm gonna largely keep everything the same and then just throw in our new October stickers, which I love. I love Halloween. This is gonna be so much fun. In case you missed it, I did release a video almost two weeks ago now that was basically me going into detail of all of the different ways that I like to use my elements to save time. So if you see me use any elements in here and I don't go into depth or explain like how to make it or anything, you can check in that video. I will link it in the cards, but I will also leave a link to it down in the description. The video has timestamps and everything, so it's really easy to find what you're looking for. Of course, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to start off with our beautiful sprint set. And I know that the first through the fifth were part of the last sprint of September as well. So my sprint is going to be, basically we'll have one week of that sprint here. We'll have a two week sprint from this week to this week. And then these last two weeks of October will also be a sprint. So let's add in our element. And I'm just gonna come to the folder that I created during that video and we're going to add in our sprint. And the nice thing about the new one that I created was I did a few things that I thought were really fun. So instead of just having my background as one element and then my sprint set up as one element, this time I have put it all in one so that makes the process just so much simpler. Then it's all one step instead of two steps. That video is worth watching if you wanna see any of my time-saving hacks. But I also went in and I added in these date dots. So obviously for longer weeks, I would have to duplicate these and add them in. I personally really like using the stickers in my planner, but I showed this as an example. So if you wanna save yourself time and you don't wanna to have to put the date dots in every week, then you can just do it this way. But I'm actually going to erase these because I personally like to use my stickers. Let's grab our eraser and just make sure stroke eraser is on and I'm just going to erase these but the nice thing about those is they are color changing if you do want to use the this method in order to save yourself a lot of time you can just swap out the colors the first thing I want to do is I want to start off by adding in the word October and usually I create a sticker or something for this but we're actually going to use the font that I created last year because it's just perfect and that font is called midnight magic so let's first type in the word October this is in our cheeky collegian font and then we are going to come up here to our fonts and I'm just going to search midnight magic and this is a font that I created last year. If you want access to this font, you can get it by simply going to the link in the description. I recently launched a freebie vault on my website, so it is password protected. So if you click on the link in my description, it'll take you to an email sign up and you can sign up for my email. And then I will email you the password for the freebie vault. And then it's new, so there's not a whole lot on there right now, but this font will be on there, the wallpapers for this month are on there. The leaf brush from my last tutorial is on there and I'm just gonna keep adding to it. So if you want access to that and more freebies that are to come in the future, then definitely check out that link. Okay, so we have our word October, we have our sprint set up, and we are moving right along so quickly already. I absolutely love this. I'm just gonna turn text boxes on by itself right now, and I'm just going to drag this over. I'm not quite sure if I want it in the center or if I want it on the edge. We're just gonna leave it here for now and we'll play around as we go. Okay, the sticker set. Let's reveal these in case you didn't see the sticker release video. So we are going to be using 
this color palette. This is the third color palette in my sticker bundle. And this one isn't my favorite. So you'll know I tend to use my least favorite color palette for my monthly setup because I just don't use it as often. And so it's this one. Now I do think it's a beautiful color palette. Don't get me wrong. And if you watched my <laughs> release video, you probably heard me say this already. I think it's a great color palette. I think it's fun. It's a different take on Halloween, but I don't know. I like really crave the traditional Halloween colors and I get it. It's a good vibe. I like it. I think it's cute with the stickers, but I really love the ones that feel like Halloween colors. And so I'm gonna use those ones more often. Let's get started with this one. So firstly, we're going to have to grab our date dots. And now we need to make sure that images is turned on and text boxes can be turned off. We don't need those. And we're just going to select these and I'm going to copy them and bring them over here. And I'm just gonna size them up and I cannot tell you how excited I am about the fact that GoodNotes fixed the whole rotating issue. It's one of my favorite things in the world. If you've been following this channel for a long time, you've heard me complain for years <laughs> about that. I've hated that for so long. So I'm gonna leave these here for now because I'm not quite sure what color I wanna do my sprints in. And I'm gonna decide that once we start doing the decorations. So let's first jump back to our sticker set. Let's come to the theme page. I don't know, I think this is probably gonna be like one of my favorite things to do as a heading and I'm trying to space out some of my ideas between like now and later but I really like these stickers and I made them intentionally so they were like a gate I could extend it and make it go all the way down. So if you do want to do something like that, you can duplicate the sticker and then just crop it down to these three where they're all the same size and hit done. Then it'll line up nicely. So just try to get them so that they're evenly spaced. And then you can't even tell that I added to it. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So I'll just zoom through this. Okay, I've just gone ahead and added in my hex code so I can start changing some colors. So I will leave those up here in the corner and you can pause and add them in if you haven't done that already. And what we're gonna do is we are going to start adding in some of the decorative stickers here. There's a few, like I wanna kind of create a fun scene. So we're gonna take a look at this sticker pack and I think it'll be really fun to maybe have a moon in the background. I'm going to grab some of these stars in this moon. We're just going to copy these and I'm just going to make them kind of small. They're going to be a super subtle touch like way in the back over here. They are like I said really small but I'm just going to have them in the background. They're hardly even noticeable so feel free to skip this if you don't feel like it's worth it. Um, I do want to take the text boxes here and I'm just going to drag it down a little. I like the way that the R looks when it's like coming down onto or the rest of the layout here. And then I'm going to circle this and change the color. Let's do the orange. I think that's good. And then we are going to tap on this and duplicate it. And I'm just going to bring it up for a second. So changing the bottom one to the pink and the top one to the orange. And I think that's gonna be a nice way to bring that pink in a little bit. If you wanted to get like real fancy, you could always come in here with your pen tool and with that pink color, you could connect these spaces. So again, you're gonna want the small brush here in pink and you can just color this in. Now this depends on you and like how much time you really wanna take. And what I would do is don't worry about being sloppy and kind of coloring onto the lettering because what we'll do is just like repaste the orange lettering back on top. But this just smooths out this connection here so that it looks like it's actually 3D. Totally up to you if you want to do this, but this is a fun little hack and makes it look really good. Okay, now that I'm about done, I will say I sometimes think that it's easier to control the eraser. So if you have precision eraser on, you can get like, it's just so much easier. I don't know what's up with the pen in GoodNotes, but I get very frustrated sometimes with the pen in GoodNotes. 
but I just feel like you can get way more precise with the eraser and the pen just seems to like, just squiggles everywhere and I don't like it. Okay, so now we're just filling this in with the bigger brush. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is use our text tool and just tap on this top text box. I would use the lasso tool, but because the top and bottom text boxes are so close, it's probably impossible, honestly, to just grab one. So we'll just use the text tool and then we're just gonna drag this up. I find it's a lot easier to just do that with your finger because if you use the Apple Pencil, it'll think that you like wanna start writing and then you have trouble with that. So I would just use your finger here. And now that we've dragged it up, now we can use our lasso tool. Just make sure this is slow it alone and we're just going to cut it and then paste it on top here you can zoom in and kind of see where you colored it too and just make sure that it's all lined up nicely and I think that that looks yeah that's exactly where it needs to be perfect so now it's got like a little 3d <laughs> background so just something fun again if you're short on time you can skip that or if you just don't feel like doing it but sometimes I like to get a little doodly in my planner and that's one way to do it Okay, so I think because we're probably not gonna use a whole lot of the pink, my second sprint here, the one, that, the first full one, I want that to be in pink. So we're gonna turn images back on. And um, we're gonna move those into place, but I'm just gonna move them here for a second and I'll get around to adjusting them later. I'm getting ahead of myself, so I still wanna play around up here. This is what it's like to be in my brain, pure chaos. Anyone else feel like this all the time? I'm just bouncing around everywhere. Okay, so let's do a little bit more fun stuff. So I wanna have some pumpkins there and I think I also wanna lean like a, um, a broomstick against this. So we don't wanna open a link, we just wanna paste this. And there, I think that that's good. It's subtle. You can't really tell that it's <laughs> there. But if we're talking about subtle, I might do something even more subtle. <laughs> and I might grab this witch and just copy the witch. And I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna paste and make her really small and just have her flying over the moon. We've got a nice little silhouette there. I wanna do some pumpkins. Okay, I had just thought about something else that I wanted to do and now I'm forgetting. So let me see if I can remind myself. Ooh, okay, this is kind of silly, but I'm gonna copy these eyeballs and I'm gonna paste them. We could use these though for our sprints. So maybe that's what we're gonna do. We just need to make sure that we can get four per box, but I'm just gonna duplicate these and we're just gonna put these in here. Okay, it's a little bit of a bummer that they're not color-coded, but that's okay. Um, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take one of these ghosties. Actually, let's take all the ghosties. We're gonna copy all these and bring them back here. And I'm gonna duplicate these and we're gonna sacrifice one. So I'm gonna come in here and tap on one, doesn't matter which, and we are going to crop it into a little rectangle. I'm just gonna move this over here and we're gonna come back to our stickers. We're gonna grab this one and copy it and we are going to paste it and it's gonna hang out down here. I don't want it too big where it is gonna get in the way of my sprints though. So we're just gonna make it small like this. And what we're gonna do is putting this light underneath it so it looks like the lights are on in the house. And I wanna use my image tool because then I have more freedom to be able to resize and rearrange these as I'd like. But remember the ones that you're putting behind are gonna be a bit of a challenge to readjust without moving like the whole house. And we can also grab these trees. I really want some of these trees and paste. This is why I like these stickers because honestly I can just like play around and I can just have some fun. It's just like a, an art project. <laughs> you can just sit here and make things. And I want a few trees in the background here. So we're just gonna like add some in because I think it needs it. Um, these ghosts I think we can keep and just kind of like litter them around the rest of the area. We can make them hanging out, maybe up by the lettering. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and do our numbers. So I'll just speed through this, cause you know the drill. Okay. 
Okay, this all looks good so far. I still need to change the color of my sprints. So let's try the light blue because we haven't used it. So I'm gonna turn just handwriting on and we're gonna select all of the handwriting for my sprints, all of this in the setup. We're gonna tap color and I'm gonna come down to the light blue. Okay, that immediately like cools off the whole thing. Like now it feels like a spooky, foggy, yeah, misty. That's what I'm looking for. Like a misty, foggy, spooky Halloween night. All right, so now it's just seeing if there's any sort of like finishing touches that we wanna put on here. I probably should have put something for like Halloween, but I didn't. Okay, I have an idea. This is perfect. So I'm gonna put the body down here. I'm obsessed with this idea and you could do so many variations of it. So I'm just gonna grab, I don't know, one of these has gotta be a pumpkin head. I like this shape for a pumpkin head. So he's got this cute head and now we're gonna grab a jack-o'-lantern face. And this one's clearly confused. Doesn't know what to feel. <laughs> I love these. I don't know if you guys love these. I'm actually laughing while I'm planning. You guys have to let me know what you think about these. I think they are so fun. Okay, let's see. What else? Let's put like a little tombstone. Let's put a creepy little silhouette inside of one of these windows here. Just subtle, but cute. Okay, and just some bats. I think that's probably gonna be the end of it. Maybe spider webs. Let's duplicate and just start moving these around. Can make them bigger the further they get from the house, maybe like they're flying toward you. Put some really small ones in the background. Okay, just a couple spider webs then. Just gonna kind of paste it over part of the R. Just kind of connect like the R and the E. So if you zoom in, you can kind of see that it's on these different parts, just spanning over that. I think that's cute. And I might do another one. So maybe between the C and the T. And okay, one more thing. And we just need a little note here. So this is in like the light blue. The only one I can think of right now is here lies. Oh, let's use the fun font. Text box. Justin Pieces. And we're going to tap on the text here and then triple tap. I'll drag this to select everything. Midnight magic. Yay, let's center align this. And we're gonna decrease the line spacing just to bring that text together a little bit. We're gonna turn on text boxes only. We are going to resize this and we are going to change the color to the light blue. You could do all kinds of puns with that. Yeah, and that's it. So I've taken my time here and really gotten creative playing with some of these. I am probably, yeah, I cannot wait. I want to do this for all of, the, all of the other ones. So I'm going to record those and you can make sure to subscribe so that you can follow along and see what I do with the other ones. Comment below what your favorite holiday is. I'm really torn between Halloween and Christmas. I don't know. I just love reasons to celebrate and get festive and decorative and I feel like people do that the most for like Halloween and Christmas and it just changes. There's like a whole vibe in the air that just isn't there around the time of other holidays and I just love it. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, I love you so much. You are the best and I will see you in my next one. Bye!